Hi, Jill. Thanks for having us on the Reiki Stories call. Um, we're the Camera Myers. My name's Shelly. And I'm Mike. And we're glad to be here. Thanks for having, having us, inviting us to come. Uh, we live in the San Francisco Bay Area. And so our Reiki story is about what's actually currently happening with us right now. We are in a uh, shelter in place. And that means we're not supposed to leave our home uh, to go anywhere, to go to work, to um, unless it's a, a necessity of life, which means we can go to the grocery store, but we are not supposed to be talking with uh, groups of people. Uh, so that means our classes have been had to be delayed and, but everybody's in the same boat. So we're not really um, feeling uh, upset about that. We're just, you know, actually, we're just um, looking for ways to support our community. And uh, the first thing that we have done is we, for months, we've done a thing called Coffee with the Camera Myers, where once a month we get together and we have, uh, we have a cup of coffee and we chat with people about what's going on in their world. And we might have a topic, uh, like one month we did Reiki and relationships. One month we did Reiki and clutter clearing all, you know, different ways that you can use Reiki that you might not think of as the normal other than just uh, self Reiki or Reiki in person. Yeah, we do this through zoom. Uh, if none of you are familiar with Zoom, uh, you can look it up on Google it, I guess. It's pretty yeah, easy, right? Yeah, zoom.us. And we just we just got off a call. Uh, we normally do it monthly, and we decide we're going to do it weekly uh, for the next few weeks until uh, the shelter in place is over. But right now, we, we had a few people. We talked about Reiki. We talked about how they were doing and gave everybody ideas of what we do, and uh, they gave us ideas of what they do. So uh, we shouldn't run out of things to do, like the garage and things like that. To yeah, we've got some projects. <clears throat> we have some projects, but overall it, it's <clears throat> community um, and it's all about Reiki. We're doing distance Reiki for people. Um, we've had a couple of those people on the last call, but um, you know, we're just, we're just here to keep everybody up as much as we can and, and us too, so. Yeah, like um, one of the things that that we've noticed is that um, people are finding out are finding out that Reiki distance Reiki really does work. We had a, a client. I have a client who comes in. She comes in monthly um, just to kind of stay up to you know on track, and she scheduled a distance Reiki session because she already had an appointment so we decided to do it distance and after the session she called me or i called her and we were talking about the session and she was shocked at how much she felt of um, feeling the reiki you know flowing through her just the same as if she saw it like she was there in person in fact i think sometimes it um it actually helps kind of because it gets some, rid of some of the distractions or the chatting that could happen when, you know, people see each other. So in person. One thing you can do if you have any questions about Reiki is you can email us or text us. Uh, probably email is intercompassreiki.com and we'll be happy to answer your questions if we can. So and, to, and yeah, that's a good idea. And um so today, one of the, you know, we have all had a little bit extra time for Facebook. And um, so one of the things that I'm not, I can't find where I found it, um, but I jotted down uh, some of the questions for when people are um, in shelter in place. And the first thing was, uh, what am I grateful for today? Uh, the next was, who am I checking in on or connecting with today? Uh, I think even if we're alone, we can be calling or, or texting friends and making sure that they're, um, everybody's okay. Um, 
Another one was, uh, what expectations of normal of, am I letting go of today? I, I think that's important because just because what we, you know, it's kind of one of those things that if you fight it and, you know, are upset because you're having to stay home rather than what can I do differently, it makes it a lot easier. Um, how am I getting outside today? You know, we live in California, so it's the weather's lovely. And so we can go for a walk or sit out in the back porch and have our coffee or whatever. So that's, that is helping make us not feel so confined. Um, how am I moving my body today? That's another question. Like, what are you doing to um, just get out and move? Because you'll feel a lot better if you do that. And oh, this is my favorite. What beauty am I creating, cultivating, or inviting in today? Um, what What are you doing to, you know, whether you do craft projects or whether you're doing a vision board or whether you're um, looking at the internet and planning your next trip when we can go somewhere? Um, any of that is creating some beauty and some excitement about our life and you know, staying in the present moment and not getting worried about what's, when this is going to end, how it's going to end, how, you know, how long it's going to go on. Nobody knows. They have some predictions. Some people are making it sound very dire. Some people are making it sound like it isn't. Right now, what we have to do is just take care of ourselves, take care of each other and uh, shelter in place. That's about it. Thanks for having us today, Jill. Uh, we look forward to talking to you down the road. Thank you.